Alright guys, so ito yung first problem na sasagutan natin para sa ating heat transfer lecture series, no? So, ang topic natin is about heat conduction gamit yung Fourier's law. So, ang sasagutan nating problem is itong problem 4.1-1 from the Transport Processes and Unit Operation 3rd Edition by Christy J. Ginkoplis. So, ang problem 4.1-1 is about insulation in a cold room. So, kung makikita ninyo, may answer na to, kaya lang wala siyang solution. So, ipapakita natin ngayon kung paano nakuha itong answer na to. So, calculate the heat loss per square meter of surface area for a temporary insulating wall of a food cold storage room where the outside temperature is 299.9 Kelvin and the inside temperature 276.5 Kelvin. The wall is composed of 25.4 mm of cork board having a K or thermal conductivity of 0.0433 watts per meter per Kelvin. So, illustrate muna natin itong given natin. No? So, let's say ito yung ating wall. Okay. This is inside the cold room. And ito naman yung outside natin. No? Now, we learned sa previous lectures natin na ang direction ng ating temperature is from higher to lower temperature. So, from outside going to inside, no? kasi mas mainit itong outside temperature natin. No? So, ang flow ng ating temperature is from outside going inside. No? So, this is our flow direction. So, this will be our T1. And then, going to a lower temperature. This is RT2. And since ito naman ang thickness ng ating room, so this would be our X1, and this will be our X2. And the heat is traveling on this direction. Okay, so yan ngayon ang illustration ng ating condition. So, ano yung required sa atin? No? Ano yung kailangan natin kunin? So, ang kailangan natin makuha is yung heat loss per square meter. So, Q over A, which is in square meter, no? per 1 square, square meter. So, yan ang kailangan natin makuha ngayon. So, ano yung mga given data natin? So, we have um, our area is equal to 1 square meter, no? So, yan yung pinaka-basis natin kasi yung pinahanap sa atin, heat loss per square meter. So, let us, so, let us calculate this with 1 square meter area. And then, we have our temperature 1, which is equal to 299.9 Kelvin. And then, our T2 is equal to 276 0.5 Kelvin. Tapos, given din sa atin yung thickness okay, ng ating cork board. So, the difference of X1 and X2 is delta X. No? So, yan ang ating thickness. So, our delta X is equal to 25.4 millimeter. And then, ang ating thermal conductivity is equal to 0. 0.433 watts per meter Kelvin. Okay? So, yan ngayon ang ating mga given. Bago tayo magpatuloy sa ating discussion, we would like to ask for your support by subscribing sa ating YouTube channel. Please click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ipopost namin. So, ang gagamitin nating equation dito is yung na-derive nating Fourier's Law. So, we learned from our previous lesson that Q over A is equal to negative K T2 minus T1 over X1 minus X2 or delta X. No? So, using this equation, we need to find itong heat loss natin. So, so makikita natin na lahat ng ating value is in SI unit. However, meron tayo ditong millimeter. 
Samantalang ang ating area is in square meter at ang ating thermal conductivity is in meter. So, convert muna natin ang ating delta X into meter. So, we have delta X is equal to 25.4 millimeter times 1 meter by 1,000 millimeter. So, our delta X is equal to 0.0254 meter. So, para diretso na natin siyang may apply dito. So, we have Q over A is equal to a negative K which is 0.0433 watts per meter Kelvin times T2. Our T2 is 276.5 Kelvin minus 299.9 Kelvin over our delta X which is 0.0254 meter. Okay? So, from here, may kita natin yung unit natin ng Kelvin will be cancelled out. No? And then, ang matitirang unit sa atin is watts per square meters. Okay? So, completing our equation we'll have here negative 0.0433 times 276.5 minus 299.9 divided by 0.0254 meter. Our answer will be 39.89 watts per square meter. Okay, so this is our final answer for this question. Which is equal dito sa answer na ibinigay nila dito no 39.9 watts per square meter Well that's it for now guys and thank you for watching We are inviting you to register sa www.engineers.org It is a community of Filipino engineers, engineering students and STEM students Thank you very much and have a nice day